Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. We are now ready to proceed with packing our denture flask now that we have boiled out the wax and the base plate. To begin with, we are going to mix our acrylic. We will be using lucitone, which is a very good heat cured material. And I'm going to proceed to mix the material now and then let it set while we proceed with the other steps. So to begin with, we will put the monomer in the mixing jar. I'm going to use two units because we will be processing a maxillary and mandibular denture and as you all are aware we add the polymer to the monomer and when we do this we try to avoid any excessive mixing of the material to, so that we do not get air bubbles or pockets in the acrylic. When you've added the powder to the liquid just slowly spatulate back and forth. It will take a minute or two for the particles to be wetted by the monomer. The mix is dry. It will not be very fluid as some of the autopolymerizing resin. Once you feel that the polymer is adequately wetted by the monomer, as you see here, we can place the top on the mixing jar and let this sit for upwards of 45 minutes. Lucitone will retain its packability for a considerable length of time. And so I will set this to the side and we will proceed with placing a separating media over the stone surfaces of our flask, of our mold. To do this, we'll be using a product called Alcoat. A-L-C-O-T-E. It is an alginate material that is painted over the surfaces of the stone so that the resin will not adhere to the stone after it is processed. I'm going to proceed only with the maxillary denture at this time and I'll show you what this looks like as we paint the material onto our stone. You try to not touch the teeth while you are painting this on, but merely flow the separating media around the teeth on the buccal flange of the denture. And we'll do that on both sides. It takes a little longer to do the half of the flask that has the teeth. You see, we merely flow the separating media around the teeth and now I'll do the palette. Again, we try not to get any excess material on the teeth. And this is even more important when you're using acrylic teeth because you would like the teeth to actually bond to the polymer. And we simply paint the palette, as you see here. And we also coat the other surfaces of our flask. Now after I am finished doing this, in a moment or two, we will leave this for a while because we do not proceed with packing the denture until the alginate separator is dry. Now as you see, sometimes you'll incorporate a little hair from the brush and it's best to remove this, particularly if it's in a critical area around the teeth because it will be processed in the acrylic. Now we'll proceed with the other half of our mold. This half is very easy to do. Again, you simply coat all the surfaces. Before alginate separators were available, it was much more difficult because we had to tin foil all the surfaces of the denture that we did not want the acrylic to adhere to. It was much more time consuming and really didn't do as good a job as the alginate separators. 
So again, we have applied the separating media to our two halves of the flask. And I can show you, I will leave now for a few minutes while this is drying and we will come back and pack the maxillary denture. In the intervening time, the alginate separator has dried on the maxillary mold, and we will now proceed to pack the mold with acrylic. We have now uh, reached the doughy stage with our acrylic mixture. As you can see here, it snaps apart readily, and we form the material into a disc and place it within the maxillary mold. At this point, I'm going to take a polystyrene sheet and lay it over the acrylic and place the two halves of the mold together. When we've gone this far, we can now go to our press and close the flask. For our purposes here, we're using a hydraulic press that we use up in the complete denture department. There are basically three types. You can use a manual press by merely screwing down the top of a press. You can do a hand uh, pressurized hydraulic press. Or in our complete denture laboratory, we also have hydraulic presses that are run electrically. So for our purposes here, we simply pl place the mold into our press and manually increase the pressure up to 3,000 PSI. And it's best to do this slowly because the acrylic is flowing at this time, and we'd like it to flow to all the small parts of our mold. At this point, we release the pressure, and you can see the tremendous amount of flash that has come out of our flask. We separate the two halves, and if you notice, if we can get close here, how accurately the surfaces of the master cast are duplicated in the acrylic. At this point, we remove the separating sheet and trim the excess material from the periphery of our master of our flask. Now you remember at many times in the procedure of making a denture, we've stressed the importance of the landing or the boxing edge of your master cast. And here you can see one other application of that because we have to know where to trim to. And we trim to the edge of the landing of our master cast. At this point, we will repack the denture, place another sheet, another polystyrene sheet, which acts as a separator. We will go back to our press and proceed to pack this again. And again, we will go up to 2,000 or 3,000 PSI. It's good to hold it at this point for a moment or two again to allow the material to flow. We release the pressure, retrieve our maxillary flask, and again, you will see a tremendous amount of flash from the second packing. Now, if we were to leave this, we would be inadvertently increasing the vertical dimension of our clinical case and also distorting the occlusal relationships we were so careful to establish. Therefore, we go back and we actually trial pack two to three times generally. And if we still are getting excess material, we will continue to do this until we no longer see flash of any appreciable amount within our flask. Now, I will place another separating sheet We'll put it together again, go back to our press. Now this will be the third time we've done this. And we go up to 3,000 PSI and wait for a moment or two, retrieve our flask. At 
this point you still see excess material. I think you can see this if we come in close. I want to remove every last trace of this material so that we don't distort the denture. So I guess in this case we're going to have to do it four times. It is not unusual to have to do this half a dozen times with a very large denture. I think that four closures here will be adequate. Remove the excess material. And again, we'll place a polystyrene sheet, place our flask together. It probably this will be the last time. And we release the pressure, retrieve it. Now, this time, if you come in, you'll notice that we're getting very, very little flash, a slight bit around the posterior of the denture, and a little bit along the left buckle flange. At this point, I'm quite certain that I have got adequate closure of the flask. I'll remove the flash that is present. Now the last time we do this, we simply close the flask without the polystyrene sheet, like so. And we will place this into a Hanau press, which you will all have. Now, I would like to show you also what the mandibular flask looks like. I packed this three times before we came on camera. And I think you'll see that the excess has been removed from this. Now, at this point, many times the acrylic will have small folds where the polystyrene sheet has folded into the acrylic. You will find that after processing that none of these folds will be present. Now we'll place the two halves of our mold together. Place this in the Hanau press. At this point, we simply close our flask press until we have the press all the way down and it's very tight. And then we would like you to back up one quarter turn and simply remove the large Allen wrench and the handle and now you are ready to proceed with processing the denture. Here at this school, we like to process our dentures for 8 to 12 hours at 165 degrees. And to do that, we'll be using a Hanau curing unit. This is probably the unit that you will be using to cure your dentures. We simply place our flask into the reservoir where the warm water is place the top on the unit, and we set our temperature at 165 degrees, and we simply activate the unit for 12 hours. At the end of that time, the acrylic will be polymerized, and we will be ready to deflask the denture. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.